Today I'm going to be going over how to use Tension as Happy Chaos and explaining how to use it to extend pressure, open up your opponent, and recover resources. While there's a lot of really advanced ways to use Tension, this is going to be covering most of the fundamental applications that you'll regularly see at a high level. The first mix we'll look at is the Jump Cancel Fuzzy from Blue Roman Cancel. So here you do Close Slash or 5k into Jump Cancel, BRC Forward, JS, and then either land with a low or go for a Jump Cancel J2k. From the J2k you can convert without resources pretty easily thanks to BRC slowdown so it makes it pretty effective mix to go for whenever you're low on bullets or concentration. Uh, the next one is a similar concept that requires a little more from you as well. So first we'll repeat what we did the last time, you go from CS into a jump cancel, BRC forward, JS and then land. So after landing you'll want to go for either a low again like 2d, 2k, 6k or you go for a rising J2k. Now the difference here is that as you're falling, you still have an unused air action, so you're able to go for an ID back JS or land 2k to represent as a second mix option, assuming you fire a bullet beforehand to keep it safe. Now the main downside of this is that it's a little harder to confirm from the rising J2k without spending resources, but it is still possible if you do want to try go for that. So those are the main ways to apply standard 50-50s to your opponent using 50 tension, but there are some also pretty great reaction checks and guesses you can force as well. So the first one I'm going to try and cover is pretty advanced, but if you want to try for it, I'll explain how to do it regardless, because you will see a lot of higher level Happy Chaos players using this. So most characters in the game are able to do backdash BRC into an instant overhead. Now there's an execution shortcut, which I'll show here, where you double tap the dash macro, and then tap back and RC at the same time. So what this will do is make you backdash and then drift forward with a BRC. And then from here, you can um, do a fast BRC with an air normal. Now the reason this execution shortcut works is it abuses the Arxis backdash bug. There are a few other ways to execute it, but this is how I do it, so it's the way I'm going to explain. Now the reason I'm mentioning this for Chaos specifically is because despite it being nearly universal, he definitely gets some of the best usage out of it in the entire game. From corner to corner conversions, preferably with some risk so it doesn't screw with the damage too much and really easy wall slump access during corner pressure. So one other way you can use fast play up BRC to try and mix your opponent is the dash cancel from 5k or CS and then go for either an immediate or if you want to throw bait, a uh, delayed BRC upwards into J2k. So this is a pretty good reaction check which can then lead into a lot of different sequences since J2k true strings into another J2k. So you can either go for ID back JS versus 2k, go for three JPs after the first J2k, uh, Mid-screen you can choose to cross up or end uh, the sequence early into roll or throw. Generally this is just a pretty good um, option to represent if you feel like showing a lot more different sequences to your opponent. It isn't something I personally go for super often, however I do still show it here and there just to keep my options open. And it does let you run some pretty nice mix for low resources as well. One extra pretty nice way to use meter to open someone up who doesn't seem to be getting hit by the usual tap dust too often is to go for a fuzzy from it. So you can do this by doing 5d into a fast red roman cancel upwards and then js. This is just a pretty strong and simple way to catch a lot of people off guard. So finally we're gonna start covering some pretty important ways we can recover resources using meter. Uh, the first of which we're gonna cover is bullets. So first off, the main way you'll see a lot of strong Chaos players recover bullets is by dash cancelling after CS or 5k and leading into CS again, into a reload. Now reloading 3 bullets here leaves you about plus 1, and reloading 2 lets you true string CS. So this is the most efficient way to reload, but it's not always possible, so a lot of the time you'll see Chaos players reload from Red Roman Cancel too. So from high attack level moves, like uh, 6s, you can fast ro Red Roman Cancel into reload and be roughly plus 3, though from lower attack level moves it becomes a lot more unsafe. Uh, you'll also see a full red roman cancel into reload which leaves you plus enough to frame track the close slash a lot of the time. Now these these two are usually out of necessity uh, so it tends to be better to avoid a situation where you have to use red roman cancel to reload since the amount of bullets you get compared to blue roman cancel is a lot lower. So the final thing I want to cover is BRC focus. Now this is pretty niche but I'll cover why it might be used in a moment. So after 5k or CS dash cancel you 2p into guard crush and then focus and you're roughly plus 6. So the meter penalty from super focus is 8 seconds uh, while the meter penalty from BRC is 2 seconds. So even though the focus you gain is a lot lower uh, the meter usage is much more efficient overall. But uh, Super Focus is still pretty important to use most of the time, I would say. 
So that about wraps up this video. I obviously didn't cover every single possible meter usage for Happy Chaos, but I would definitely comfortably say if you're able to use everything in this video, um, you have basically everything you need to know to be able to manage your resources and open up your opponent effectively. So uh, I hope this helps and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.